stand for great, great, great. <laughs> Thank you, Lou. It was great working together with Lou on this promotion. I think this is a big statement for Gennady, for anybody who doubted his punching power, the class that he's at. Unequivocally, we're saying that he's the best middleweight in the world right now. We have a lot of respect for Sergio Martinez, Rio Cesar Chavez, but right now we believe he's the best middleweight. The way he dismantled Matthew Macklin, we have a lot of respect for Macklin. He showed a lot of heart. He's one of the best middleweights around, and the way Gennady took him apart and landed the body shot, it shows not only can you knock guys out with, with headshots, but with a single body shot. So with that, I wanted to introduce the team, Abel Sanchez, one of the best trainers in the world, his manager, Max Herman, and of course, Triple G, Gennady Golovkin. Before Gennady uh, says something, I'd like to bring up Ed Levine, who's got a small presentation for him.
Just, you know, this is a good question for my promotion. Just, I'm ready. Just for me, uh, for everybody. I want for everybody. Just, who's next? It doesn't matter. Good job, but he tweeted out. He would like to get in with you in the ring. And, uh, Absolutely. He said, make it a pay per view fight. So. <laughs> he's, not worthy, he's not worthy of a pay per view fight. What's he going to sell? <laughs> Peter. Before the fight, a question to Abel. Before the fight, you were absolutely confident it would be easy fight. We spoke. Uh, we spoke after the weigh in, and uh, you smiled like, just like uh, Gennady smiling going into the ring, and you said it will be a lot easier fight than everybody thinks it will be. Why were, were you so sure? And what did you see from the beginning, which basically uh, confirmed what you said 24 hours before? Because he wasn't sick. Because he was 100 percent. Because there's nobody on 100, from 154 to 168 that will stay 12 hours with Gennady. So whatever Macklin would do, it would not matter. After the second jab, if you notice Macklin's tactic completely, completely changed. Uh, his brave, that was, like I said at the beginning, being brave was his detriment, was the worst thing that could have been for him because he was going to try to fight. As soon as he tried to fight this guy, the last one really all, and everybody understands. Uh, and that body shot was set up by a lot, a lot of shots on top that made Macklin. That was the plan. Maybe back then hold his hands up and then kill the body. I didn't think it was going to be, going to be one shot, but it must have been a perfect shot. Thank you. To clarify that, Peter, it wasn't that Abel was saying it'd be an easy fight in terms of any disrespect to back <laughs> Of course. That, um, that he didn't have the quality to, to stick around with, with Gennady. It was the, the better opposition that the Gennady fights, the better fighter that you'll see in the ring. And that's what Abel's been, been saying for really the last two years. Like you said, he's been working with three years, so that's not taking anything away from Macklin, it's just the style. He knew that Macklin wasn't going to run away, he was going to be there and trade with him, and that's really what made it style-wise match up well for, for Gennady. Thank you. This question was posed before, before you guys got here. Uh, basically someone asked if HBO has to be forced to put this middleweights in against you, like a guy, Darren Barker, the promoter said he doesn't want to put him in there with you, or Daniel Gale who dropped his belt because he didn't want to fight you. And they're fighting in, in August. Do you think a performance like this forces HBO to put one of those guys in against you? You know, in, uh, my perform performance right now is great. You know, preparation to it's like a great time for my, for my team, you know, for my coach, for my gym. It's not my problem. That's how I work for my team. But yeah, it's right. My focus right now is we have to, uh, based on that question, we have to give a lot of thanks to HBO. Uh, without their help making this fight, it would never have been made. As Lou said before the fight, it wasn't an excuse. Mac Macklin really didn't want to fight him now. He wanted one fight beforehand and then fight him in the fall. But HBO really stepped up because they felt it was the right fight at this time to make for both Gennady and Macklin. And, and without their help, they, uh, it, this fight wouldn't have been made. We also want to acknowledge Foxwoods. Resort Casino here in Connecticut. Uh, it's a great facility, and we had a wonderful time staying up here. Is Golovkin in uh, some sort of contract with HBO for his fights, or can you work with Showtime in order to make a Peter Quillen fight? Because by saying you want Peter Quillen or guys like that, we all know he fights on Golden Boy and Showtime, so it's saying it really doesn't mean anything. Can I fight exclusively on HBO? Uh, I think the Quillen fight can be made. Gennady's clearly above where Quillen's at right now. He's a much more popular fighter, he sells a lot more tickets. That's not, no disrespect to Peter. Peter's a great champion, you know, his own right. He, he's fought at the Barclays Center before. He fights on Showtime. But if that fight's going to be made, it will be made on HBO because we feel they have a bigger budget and they get higher ratings. And with a performance like this tonight, we feel that if that fight's made, it'll be on HBO. And you feel